You super tuckered out, Ashy. In a minute, he was trying to get into his water bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at him. And this is after him being crazy from just going after the ball. I must have thrown it. It's only maybe, I don't know, 75 right now, but I threw it really far and long for him. Gosh, I'm so blessed and lucky that Asher hasn't really hurt himself. It's really kind of incredible because it's just a landmine out there with giant deep holes. Effie? Here she does it again. You look at him. Oh, you're not going to throw the ball again, you crazy maniac. God, he would do that till he died, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it sure proves the breed standard when we say tenacious and uh, persistent because uh, it, that he is. If nothing else, huh, my ass? We get ready to go to the show, though, and I don't want to wipe you out. Yeah. Like I say, I'm very blessed because a lot of male Staffords come up with limps. I had one many years ago that did from just a really early lure course, but you know, they're dense bodied dogs for the most part and it can happen. Right, Ash? And he, uh, he's just so structurally sound that so far we've been incredibly blessed. And I think even with structurally sound dogs, it can happen. But I mean, he just, he's run into holes, over holes and everything. And I think he's had like one limp in his life. And it was from, we believe it was from Bark at the Portland Expo Center because it seemed to be just affecting his paw and it was real pronounced and then it was gone. And every once in a while his one nail on the right hand side bothers him because he almost lost it. And my vet actually said at some point we might have had to surgically take it off. But actually here's another pointer for all you guys listening. And she is that um that um uh, I give gelatin. And also I want to comment that someone, I don't think he was being rude at all, but he was commenting on how important it is that I get more training because of the dogs fighting and that I'm still learning with this breed. But I want to say, I hope I'm learning forever because beware the expert. That's just my real philosophy in life. And if, as long as people are still learning, that's why I took a chance on my Tabish, who I think is going to be one of our best new members of the Team Shasta Show team, because he knew that he didn't know it all, and he's totally open to learning and listening to everybody, and that's just critical, I think. Ashley, you're looking goofy. <laughs> Good boy, I'll try to get him to stay. Oh, I know I'll make him look good. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, but guess what? I'm sorry to tease you, because we're, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay. But anyway, yeah, let's be always learning in life, and that's what it's about. And again, I don't take for a second that you could have a fight on your hands. And my issue is I know it wouldn't happen with just me and just Lexi because we're aware of it. But when, you know, and I'm not trying to always slam Al. He loves dogs, but it is hard having a pack. And, you know, I think... Uh, it's just a challenge when not everybody sees the potential for such tr trouble in your household. But I think he's now more clued in, hey, Obes, to the whole issue. And, you know, again, I think once we probably will neuter Obi when he's six, that's going to be in October. And then I think that will help some. Ash, no. All right, anyway, I'm going to turn it off now. Okay, all right, no, no, no. Okay, bye-bye.